Hi, Paul from Royal Oak Farm here, and I'm here with John Nye from Trickle Ease Irrigation, and uh, we're working today on getting our irrigation system installed. Um, John, do you want to talk real briefly about uh, some of the work? I do. You've this is such. This is a really unique project, first of its kind, really in the U.S. So what we're doing is we're putting um, uh, what we have out here. Of course, is this apple maze, a very unique in the design of an apple, and using trellis apple trees, high density, in order to make the maze, which is really uh, exceptionally unique. We want the trees to grow fast, so we're putting trickle irrigation to them. So there's a piping system that will uh, do that, and it will all work in one big zone. When this comes on, it will water all the trees out there. We're using a pressure compensated cell flushing tubing that is perfectly uniform. All the trees will get the same amount of water. We intend to bury that tubing alongside the trees. We're essentially putting on about, uh, uh, when we run the system, about 15 gallon a minute per acre. And this is around four acres, so we're going to be using around 55 gallon a minute uh, for that purpose of uh, triple irrigating it. But the exciting thing is we put in combination this new fixed spray, uh, it's called a fixed spray system. Essentially we will have little spray nozzles up and down the rows of trees which will put on the fungicides and insecticides and keep the trees, uh, those apples, perfect for when the people walk through and, uh, and want to enjoy them. Yeah, that's one thing we're really excited about, having the ability to be able to spray the trees in a short amount of time, be able to use possibly a lot less product to do the job. Um, we're very excited about the possibilities of the system, so we're working real hard today on uh, trying to get it installed and get it in in about two days here. Uh, so we're going to keep you updated on some of the things going on, and uh, John, I don't know if there's anything else you want to add to that. Well, what I could say is there is actually two, you'll see two lines of piping out there. We haven't put the lines for the trickle irrigation, but basically one set of lines is taking the spray material out to the orchard, and the other line is bringing the leftover spray back again. After we sprayed, then we'll use compressed air or air compressor to push that extra liquid back into the spray tank and uh, utilize it in a different spot. So um, it's, uh, it's a unique system. It's complicated, but it's not... Uh, um, it, but it's exciting. And what we've done is we've divided this orchard into eight sectors. So we'll actually have eight zones. And this is what we're calling zone number one. And we have a set of valves that are going to go in down at a spot here where there'll be four valves on one side that control these four zones on the north side of the block, and there'll be four valves that control the uh, south side of the block. So, anyway, there'll be more parts to photograph later when we get it all put together, and we'll uh, talk about it maybe step by step. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing this thing all worked in and all the late, uh, lines put in and uh, installed, but it's going to take a lot of work. And uh, So we're going to get back to it and try to uh, get it finished here real quickly, but we'll keep you updated if there's any new things or uh, uh, interesting items that come about. We've still got the posts and the trellis and the weed berry and a lot of other things to come up, so we'll, we'll keep you updated. But uh, We have a perfect weather day. The trees have been beautifully planted. We've had a nice rain to kind of soak them in for right now. Yeah. Conditions are ideal. So. We're at it. Yeah, so I hope you have a great day and we'll keep you updated as things come up.